Josh after that Stuart Gypsy on this track in June. One Otto Bolden. She's the youngest in the field at 19. But this is the showdown that everybody was expecting in Tokyo. The entire podium is here. Sharika Jackson third. Shelly Ann Fraser Price second. And on the left there, Elaine Thompson Hurrah. The gold medalist in both the 100 and 200. And they put Shakari Richardson in the middle. Nine talented women on this track right now. But the world thinking this is Richardson versus the Tokyo podium in the women's 100. Daniels out in lane one trying to cut through the tension here by holding her hand up and we'll have a restart here. You can feel it in the stadium right now. This is what big races are supposed to feel like. You're supposed to feel nervous no matter where you are in the stadium. Tiana Daniels was the only American to make the Olympic final this year and she was the only American to make the World Championship final two years ago in Doha. There's Jake and Oliver who was second in the U.S. trials on this track, but didn't make the final in Tokyo. This crowd is completely hushed. Richardson this said she didn't think that she would be nervous coming into this race, but wants to perform well, and she is sandwiched between the two greatest Jamaican sprinters ever, and are going to be two of the best ever. So before this race even starts, two 10-6s versus all these 10-7s, that's it. So the Olympic podium comes to three and duplicates their finish there. Thompson Hurrah first, Fraser Price second, Jackson third, and it's Tiana Daniels with a big step up in four to run 10.83 for four. So here is Elaine Thompson Hurrah. Since she got third, at the Jamaican Olympic Trials, she has been on a tear. Her coach said she's in the shape of her life, and she has proven it. No contest at the Olympics, and no contest here. There is no question who the world's fastest woman is. It's Elaine thompson Haram of Jamaica, and her countrywoman did a good job as well. 1073 for Shelly Ann Fraser Price, and 76 for Sharika Jackson. And look at the reaction of the Olympic champion. Yet another personal best for her in 2021. She was all, already in rarefied co co company as being only one of two people to have won back-to-back -back 100 and 200 Olympic doubles. That, of course, Usain Bolt. But this kind of performance absolutely reinforces what we saw in Tokyo. Meantime, Shakari Richardson finishing ninth in the race and she's with Lewis Johnson. Well, Shakari, what was your expectation as you came out here today to face these ladies from the Olympic Games? Coming out today, it was a great return back to the sport. I wanted to be able to come in for four, um, having a month off, dealing with all I was dealing with. I'm not upset at myself at all. <laughs> this is one race. <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> you know what I'm capable of. Count me out if you want to. Talk all the shit you want, because I'm here to stay. I'm not done. I'm the sixth fastest boy in this game. And can nobody ever take that from me. Congratulations to the winners. Congratulations to the people that won. But they're not done seeing me yet. Period. All right. Thank you, Sherry. <laughs> Thanks, Lewis. And we do apologize for the colorful language from Shakari, But she's making a point. She's not done. But right now, it's the Jamaicans celebrating.